Thank What's you. up, young Skrillas? So we are still in Northern California in Mount Shasta. That's where we stayed last night. Now, your boy and Lola Pup are getting a little bit tired of this cold weather. So I think we're going to start heading south towards Arizona for a little bit. So y'all come along on our trip and let's get away from this freaking snow, dude. Because it's like, it was five degrees last night. Five. Too cold for your boy. Too cold. Even with a little pup in my heater. So we'll get rolling, baby. I've been hustling, but I got time for you. She got thought we could keep it moving through. Hell, it wasn't on my pole, she put you. You'll get chunk and key that yo. I'll be back here real soon. My life, why do I die? How's your mind too late? Bumping ASAP, cruising down the heart of a lake. Happy thought of book and answer, you'll get Molly one day. You'll be here your whole life. Think it's time for a show you what I wear, sir. I had to stop at a rest stop real quick and I am going to be so happy to get out of this snow. I don't know if y'all can see that huge pile right there. It does not look big from here. But that sucker is like 15 feet high. Even look at the snow in front of me real quick. It's taller than the dang trash cans. This is ridiculous, dude. Like look at that mountain of snow. Taller than the damn van, dude. That's crazy. That is completely whack, dude. Like... <laughs> This is muddy, and it's like, it's like ice. It's old snow. Crazy, crazy. A lot different than Florida, dude. My guys, look at that sign. Tony does not look that tall on camera, but in person, the snow is like, whoo. Way up. Now you know get it, yeah. Gotta show me the way. So you picked your perfect part of glasses up on your head. Who don't I get shit up yarn? Don't you worry about it. It looks cold as crap here though, dude. I really thought Nevada be a little bit warmer, but dude, there's some huge mountains here still. With lots of snow. Like, what is this? What is this? Trying to get to the warmer weather, not the colder weather. Wake up and you laying on my bed side. Yo no, when they got us on the east side. Yellow, how we do it at the best side. You know, think I saw you on the west side. Wake up and you laying on my bed side. Yo no, when they got us on the east side. So we just finished showering up and I actually found a Starbucks that's pretty close by that I think we're gonna go ahead and camp at here in Reno, Nevada. Now, I really thought I was getting somewhere warmer. But I guess I'm not, because look at this. There's snow everywhere, dude. So it's supposed to be a low of like nine degrees tonight, which is actually colder than where I was in California last night. But I don't know, we're gonna hunker down here and uh, go crash at Starbucks. So y'all stay tuned. Up, homies i think me and lollipop are gonna start heading south dudes so y'all come along on this adventure so as i've been saying i'm trying to get off the red bull now, I just bought a case of Celsius and it's supposed to be a little bit better than Red Bull. I don't know, but it was only 24 bucks for the case. So that's two bucks a pop. I've been paying like $4 for Red Bulls. So I need to stop that. I know the energy drinks, I probably need to stop that too, but I just don't like coffee and I need energy in the morning. So I'm sorry, mom. No, you don't like these energy drinks, but your boy's gonna drink them. Please tell me guys, is there a better combination for breakfast in the morning than some Celsius? and some cold Papa John's pizza? I think Lola thinks not. I don't think so either. I love pizza for breakfast. So I am currently in Reno, Nevada, and it was five degrees last night. I didn't even know it got that cold in Nevada. So my game plan for today is to start heading up like towards Lake Tahoe, kind of checking out Lake Tahoe a little bit and then working my way towards Vegas. So y'all come along on this adventure, baby. We have made it to the beautiful Lake Tahoe, baby. Whoa. <laughs> Lots of snow out here. Nice and quiet too. You like the snow, baby? You like the snow? 
kind of hard to see from here, but whoop, that water is crystal freaking clear, dude. I'd go down there, but little pup says no. Little pup says no. And it's super slick out and icy. Last thing I need is to walk on some rocks and slip right in this chilly water. But I think all this water is glacier melt pretty much. So when the snow melts, that's what provides this lake with agua. It makes it super clear. Look at how beautiful this freaking lake is, dude. And you can see how crystal clear that water is. Holy crap. I believe we started our trip back over there. So we're only doing half of this rim. The other half's in California. And we are not going to the California side of Lake Tahoe. Look at all this ice on the road, y'all. This sheet is crazy, man. Somehow the two wheel drive van is making it through. Now I do have brand new Nido Ridge Grappler tires and they're aired down to 40 PSI. So they are gripping a little bit better than normal tires, but I'm surprised it's not slipping more. Look at how high the snow is packed up. That is a gate, so you can't drive through. And it is solid ice. And I don't know if there's much of an extreme fire danger today. Not with how much snow is on the ground. <laughs> you can see that the picnic table's almost under all the snow. <laughs> Even all the posts right here that keep people from driving on the beach completely under and typically these signs are like seven feet tall and yup she's tiny dang they even got sandy beaches what that is dope huh. well we made it to lake tahoe uh there's a hard rock casino baby whole bunch of casinos this would have been the spot to camp last night Dude, these California roads suck. There are so many potholes down this dang road. So we are getting into the heart of the Sierra Nevada mountains now. It's funny, this whole trip, I've been trying to find snow. And I haven't really found like any deep, thick snow. Now that I want to get back to the warmth, all I'm finding is snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains, baby. So I think I found a camping spot for the night. It's actually right outside the Cerro Gordo ghost town, like the old mining town. Now, if y'all have not checked out ghost town living, I believe on YouTube, that's actually the town that I'm gonna be camping like right outside of. I would actually go up to the town if I thought I could get up the road, but with seeing how much snow is on the ground, yeah, there's no way in heck I'm getting up there, even with tire chains on. But it should be pretty cool. It should be pretty sick. So we'll go check this bad boy out. Ha. This is crazy. Dude, holy heck, I kind of want to get some fuel because I'm in the middle of nowhere and there's really not a lot of gas stations. I got like half a tank, but I just want to top off to be safe. But look at the price of this dang fuel. What? Oh my gosh, dude. False alarm, just found a station that had it a dollar a gallon cheaper. Still five seventy-five a gallon, which is expensive, but I should only need like 12 or 13 gallons and then I should be back to like at least low four dollar a gallon fuel 57 bucks dude for 10 gallons of fuel that is whack <laughs> that'd be like 30 bucks in florida but we gotta do it we're in the middle of nowhere dude we're about an hour from my camping spot that i want to stay at in Cerro Gordo. so we're just gonna keep on vanning and seeing how much worse these roads get because they're getting icy so y'all stay tuned
So we just made it to Cerro, Go Cerro Gordo. There's this cool little like, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like an old mine or something. And there's actually a town on top of this mountain as well, which we're gonna go try and check out tomorrow. But I could not get through this dip right here with my van. So me and Lola Pup are gonna walk the rest of the way to check this bad boy out up here. And check out this sunset, dude. This is so sick. And it's so dang quiet, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, look at that thing. That place is old, dude. Ha! Holy cow. Honestly, I have no clue what this building is. I assume it's something to do with the mine, though. Ooh. Holy cow, dude. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but I'll tell you. Got some amazing freaking views up here. Holy crap. And there's the van. And there's Lollipop. Yeah, Lollipop. So this town's actually in Southern California, Cerro Gordo. It's uh, probably about, I don't know, 80 miles from Death Valley, I think. So we're pretty close to Death Valley. I don't know, it's pretty cool. So I found a camping spot right up this hill that I'm gonna try to go to if my van can get up it because it's kind of steep we shall see here is the rig and then this is our view guys come on can it get much better than that like come on dude so on tonight's dinner menu I think I'm gonna go ahead and whip up a chicken quesadilla now I'm kind of like parked on a slant because this road's not completely level so it might be a little difficult trying to cook everything on there. The pan might be sliding. I might have to hold on to the pan. Might look ridiculous when I'm cooking, but just know that your boy's sitting on like a 10 degree slope. I'm gonna have to sleep diagonal so the blood's not rushing to my head. So these pieces of chicken are freaking thick. I mean, really thick. So I'm gonna try cutting them in half real quick so it doesn't take as long to cook because uh, yeah, that, that's gonna take forever, dude. Voila, they are all cut in half. Now this is a ton of chicken. I don't even know how many pounds this is. It is two and a half pounds of chicken. Well, I've had it almost a week and the date's almost up. So unfortunately I gotta cook it all. So I have a lot of extra chicken. Lola will be eating good. But we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy on the pan and get her ripping. Redneck ingenuity, right there. Pan kept sliding, your boy stuck some paper plates under it, and now we're met. Again, now I am not a chef, but we're gonna cook this chicken on low heat and cross our fingers it comes out mint. Probably do like seven or eight minutes each side, try that out first, because we do not want medium rare chicken. <laughs> that would not be bueno.
So we just got done cooking all the chicken. We're gonna go ahead and throw the tortillas up on the pan along with some cheese and chicken and finish off the quesadilla baby. All right, not the prettiest looking quesadilla, but she looks meh. She looks like she's gonna be pretty tasty. So we'll give her a run. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, it looks so good. Dude, this is, this is perfect. And like I said, I got tons and tons of extra chicken. Lola Pop's gonna get some. There you go, baby. There you go. I've already kind of been feeding her a ton of that chicken as I was cooking it anyways. I probably gave her a freaking quarter pound already, but holy heck. She already done finished it all. Dang, dude. She's a little hungry. Just got done cleaning everything up from dinner. Now I've got the diesel heater cranking. As you can hear, she's getting warmed up because it's supposed to be into the 20s tonight. I think me and Lola Pup are gonna go ahead and hit the cheese, y'all. So, good night. Sleep tight. Good morning, dudes. Today is a day that we're checking out the Cerro Gordo Mines. So they open at nine o'clock. It's 8.30 right now. And it's like a seven mile drive up this dirt road. So we're gonna go ahead and start heading up that way. Since I am way too excited to go check out the Cerro Gordo mine, your boy's not cooking breakfast. So we're just gonna pump a little bit of energy into me with this Celsius baby. And no, no we are not four wheel drive, but we're gonna send it baby. Yeah, check out how rocky these dang roads are. This is freaking nutty dude. So I know the videos aren't doing it any justice as far as how steep these roads are, but the van is starting to get a little bit hot. So I'm gonna let her kind of cool down for like 10 minutes. We've got her a little past 210 degrees on engine temp. 210 is about normal operating temp, but it's probably at about 220 right now. You can smell the transmission getting a little hot too. So we're just gonna let her kind of chillax for a second. But look at how beautiful this view is. Steep freaking roads for sure, dude. For sure. If y'all end up coming up this way to check this uh, mountain out, I mean, really, you should have a good set of all-terrain tires if you're two-wheel drive. And then, if you can tell, I've actually got mine aired down a decent amount, too. I'm supposed to have 80 pounds in the rear tires and 55 up front. And I dropped the fronts to 40 and the rears to 40. And they seem to be gripping pretty good so far. There's a lot of loose rock on this trail, but I don't know. She's ripping, dude. Yeah, we are way up here, dude. Holy crap. Almost 9,000 feet in elevation. <clears throat> Having a hard time breathing up here. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't even know what half this stuff is. But it is pretty cool. Yeah, look at all the cool artifacts they have and stuff in this building. They've got tons of minerals, old pickaxe heads, saws. This is crazy, dude. Old wood furnace right there. Even got some old newspaper articles they found. January 25th, 1925. This newspaper is old. Almost 100 years old. So we just got done checking out the town of Cerro Gordo. And I'm telling you, dude, it was sick. I had to get a hoodie to represent. But this place seriously is like a little gem. So if y'all are looking for a really cool little like mining town to come check out, definitely should come up here it is freaking sick it's a it's a heck of a drive coming up but it is i'm telling you it is a beautiful drive 